Hi everybody, this is Gary Dean with Sentiment Timing and this is our technical video report for Monday, August 22nd, 2022. Sorry for the late report, I actually uh, had a run out beforehand. And one quick note, I am going to be, uh, I have to run into the city tomorrow. I'm not sure what time I'll be back, but I will definitely try to get the, uh, the report out uh, before, you know, hopefully I, I get, come home and go to bed. But in any case, um, things are going exactly as planned. I'm not going to, you know, really go over a whole lot. We got short just about right at the top right here. Um, the downside target was 41.20. Reason why was that to close this gap and also the um, the 200-day moving average. So we got down here. My my suggestion in the uh, in the morning notes was if we get down near the 41, uh, you know, 20 area, start scaling out, um, and then you know it, the safest trade is just bail out of them. And then wait and see until we come up and close this gap here to get short again. I still think we're coming down to these levels. I'm just not sure they're going to happen all in one shot. Um, if it did, it wouldn't surprise me all that much, but I'm not really expecting it. So we're at the support levels right here. You have uh, pretty much, I would say, right around this, you have the 4118 and then the 4107. So say anywhere between the 41. Uh, 18 and the 4100. Uh, you want to be a little conservative uh, uh, on, the, on on shorting. Now, if we open up tomorrow and the bulls to try, decide to uh, to try higher, um, you want to wait for this 4180 level, 4170 come into play, um, and then possibly even even up to the 4217. If that happens, that's where you can you know if you if you take some of it off, you took some of it off here, you look to reshort it here. Um, if you take it all off, you're hoping that it comes up here. The, the only risk to that is that we come down and next thing we're at 4,000. But typically we get some pretty good, you know, uh, said bounces when we get these declines. We don't have any bullish divergences right now. So if, if we do get a bounce, um, I would keep an eye right on this, this 4,200 area, anywhere from the, the 4,180 up to 4,200. This would be the zone that you want to uh, that that you'd be looking to short right in here, and then uh, you, you could even go up to here. <laughs> say anywhere from the 4180 uh, up to the uh, up to the 4220. This is your ideal short zone right here. And if we get that move up there tomorrow, uh, being we don't have any bullish divergences, uh, the odds of us th these being the lows are not there. Um, but do you want to ride, you know, when you have some pretty good gains, do you want to ride it up? Uh, I like to take some off and then look to to short when we get up there. But in any case, you know, we're, we're still in trade mode right now um, until we get into the really, really bearish time period. And those trades are going from 100 to 200 points on the S&P. We've made that. Um, if you used one of the, you know, the, the ETFs that are leveraged, uh, you know, you're, you're up close to 13% right now in three days. So, uh, you know, they're great trades. It's uh, SPXS and then XBSL. So obviously the L is for the long, the S is for the short. It goes two times what the uh, what, what the S&P does. So, you know, you get some leverage in it and you can go both ways. So it works out pretty good. So anyway, this is the support zone. Um, being we don't have any bullish divergences right now, I, I wouldn't be saying, you know, I, I'd go get covering all your shorts are getting long here. Um, if we bounce up and then take these lows out, that's where most likely the bullish divergences will come in. And then we can look for one of the support zones. Um, I'm not against, you know, looking long, but I, I think at this phase, especially after, you know, the little mini euphoria after this dead cat bounce, um, I'm not sure I really want to look like that. I think there's a lot of people that bought into what the gurus are saying with, you know, the lows are in and they may be, but it, I mean, who cares if they're saying that the lows are in and we come all the way down and test these lows, they're not going to be long anymore. Just like they weren't long down here, they were short, they were short and then they turned everything right here as soon as we took out the 41 uh, 80 level. So they, they, they were long for 120 points and now they're back underwater again. So unless you're looking forward on what this market's doing, um, you're going to get trapped in it on either direction. But when you take these little 100, 200 point gains, um, like I said, we've done it for probably the last seven trades that we've made. Um, 
it's 1400 points. That's, <laughs> I mean, some man, money managers would be, you know, dying for some kind of returns like that, especially this year. So anyway, this, uh, the 15 minute chart is actually uh, suggesting that we, uh, we will get uh, a little bit of a bounce tomorrow at some point. But again, I think the only thing that will be setting up is that it will it will probably fail somewhere up here and we'll take these lows out and then that will set up the bullish divergences, which, you know, would have me thinking about the long side. Uh, if that happened, if we had a bounce up and then down again, I wouldn't be 100 percent against it. It'd just be very risky. But here's your bullish divergences. So even if we head down tomorrow, um, I, I would not be looking to short. I would be closing out most of your short positions and then waiting for the bounce. If we don't bounce and we continue lower, then you wait for the bounce at the next resistance. That's it. You don't have to be in every trade, especially, you know, when you, you've made, uh, you know, so many points that we've had so far that you just let things play out. And once it shows itself, you jump all over it. So uh, until the bills can get price above the 4180 level, the bears are in control. But even if they get above that, you're still looking at the resistance at 42.20. So the bears did some pretty good work in these three days. And, you know, this this market's on shaky grounds. And the fact that nobody's scared of the Fed, uh, you know, should concern any bull out there. So with that, have a great night. And I'll talk to you guys in the morning.